China donates to landmine clearing in Cambodia, China donated equipment such as protective headgears, outfits and boots, plus landmine detectors and vehicles to boost Cambodians' mine clearance efforts. At an official ceremony in the capital city of Phnom Penh, His Excellency Wang Wintian, Chinese ambassador to Cambodia, presented the supplies to His Excellency Liu Tat, the first vice president of the Cambodia Mine Action and Victim Assistance Authority, and expressed China's wish to help Cambodia achieve its goal to eliminate all mines and such remnants by 2025. China is a Shining World Leadership Award for Wise Governance recipient and the laureate of six Shining World Leadership Awards for Compassion and Shining World Leadership Awards for Protection, Environmental Protection, Wildlife Protection, and Compassionate Protection. Thank you, Your Excellencies and China, for your humanitarian and brotherly spirit. May heaven bless the loving Cambodian people to live in safety, joy, and peace. United Nations designates 2021 the International Year of Fruits and Vegetables. The new campaign is to highlight the vital role of fruits and vegetables in human nutrition and food security, as well as in achieving UN's Sustainable Development Goals of eliminating hunger and poverty and protecting our planet. At the launch of this proclamation, UN Secretary General His Excellency Antonio Guterres noted in a statement that the fruits and vegetables are essential to a healthy diet yet are not consumed enough. The UN Food and Agriculture Organization also released a promotional video. Full of fiber, vitamins and minerals, history, culture and traditions. Because we're what really makes you tick, what makes your eyes sparkle and your smile dazzle. We are fruits and vegetables, simply beautiful. The United Nations is a laureate of the Shining World Leadership Award for Humanitarianism and two Shining World Leadership for Life Saving Hero Awards. Many thanks for encouraging plant food consumption, United Nations. May all countries quickly shift towards veganism to build a more vibrant and sustainable world in divine resplendence. Ethiopia sees construction of 100 megawatt wind energy facility. Spain headquarters Siemens Gamesa Renewable Energy recently began construction of the Asilla wind farm near the Ethiopian capital city of Addis Ababa. When the project is complete in 2023, its 29 wind turbines will deliver clean energy to approximately 400,000 households and reduce 260,000 metric tons of CO2 each year, blessed with an abundance of wind. Ethiopia has deployed 324 megawatts of wind capacity to date and has set an ambitious goal to become 100% renewable countrywide by 2030. Ethiopia is a laureate of two Shining World Leadership Awards for Earth Protection and the Shining World Leadership Awards for Peace. Congratulations, Ethiopia, on your green accomplishments. May heaven continue to guide your wise leaders and citizens on the path to lasting sustainability, peace and prosperity. Russia developing world's first antidote for COVID-19. Russia's Federal Medical Biological Agency, or FMBA, recently announced that it has found a world's first COVID-19 antidote that can directly inactivate the virus within infected patients. FMBA reported that the medicine has so far been over 99% effective in preclinical tests and is also very safe. In addition, the nation is developing another medicine to treat highly complex cases of COVID-19 where it could lower overreactions of the immune system and thus reduce tissue damage. Russia is the laureate of two Shining World Leadership Awards for Compassion, a Shining World Leadership Award for Wildlife Protection and a Shining World Generosity Leadership Award. Our gratitude, Russian Federal Medical Biological Agency, for your diligent work to help save people's lives. In the grace of the providence, may sound viral treatments soon become widely available as we meanwhile pray for humanity to switch to the pandemic-stopping vegan lifestyle. United States police officer saves baby's life. Officer Philip Claiborne in Nashville, Tennessee saved the life of a nine-month-old baby who had a restricted airway. 
After seeing Officer Claiborne and his partner on duty while parked at the gas station the distraught mother of the baby, Tanisha Rutledge drove up, jumped out, and pleaded with them to help. Using his training for such emergencies, Officer Claiborne gently turned the baby on his stomach, patted his back firmly, and was able to clear the obstruction. The child immediately started crying and coughing to the relief of his mother. A father of a baby girl, Officer Clapper recommended that all parents learn CPR or cardiopulmonary resuscitation and the Heimlich maneuver. God bless you, Officer Philip Clapper, for your quick life-saving actions. We pray that you will live a long and healthy life as you continue your noble job serving your fellow citizens. Coming up, innovative vegan chicken drumsticks released in Singapore. Singaporean company innovates vegan chicken drumsticks. Singaporean plant-based startup Shandy Global has produced a vegan drumstick that tastes and pulls apart like meat-based chicken. The product tastes like it has been roasted over bamboo charcoal and is made from soybeans, mung beans, white beans, urad lentils, chickpeas, spices and more. Apart from Singapore, the meat-free drumsticks will also be distributed in Australia, Canada, India, along with their other plant-based chicken products. The new item is high in protein, has the same amino acid profile as its animal-based counterpart, and will sell for the same price as comparable meat products. Wonderful news, Shandy Global, on this exciting release. May your delectable offerings help to displace animal products as the vegan world awakens in heaven's benevolence. Kenya and companions save family from disastrous house fire. The Kingery family of Lincoln, Nebraska, United States, were getting ready for bed one evening when their three Pomeranian companions, Lady, Taz, and Coco, started barking continuously. This prompted the family's teenage son to look out the window and see smoke and flames. The Kingrys immediately went outside and then realized that it was their own home on fire. The fire alarm had not gone off, and the most affected part of the house included the cars with full tanks of gasoline, so the dog's barking was vital. Firefighters arrived and entered the home to rescue the three canines, one of whom they had to revive. The whole family were thankfully all right, and their house is now undergoing repair. God bless you, Lady Taz and Coco, plus our grateful salute to the firefighters. Wishing all of the Kingry family continued safety and a speedy rebuilding of their home.